You tell me when you're ready. I'm gonna have a sip of this. You know, what are you, she's licking up all of our crumbs. Good helping. Hello everyone and welcome back to Foster the Meatball. That's what it says in the uh, closed caption. Close caption. May as well just go with it. Welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about board games and board gamey things. Exactly. We're here today because it's spring. You guys already knew that. We did a whole video about it. We did. And in the spring, what do you do? Clean up. You clean up. Clean house. Spring cleaning. So we have decided that we are going to be focusing the month of April, focusing our efforts on... Did I... Oh no. I was like, did I drool there? But it's, it was the lid. We are going to be focusing on cleaning off our shelf of shame, aren't we? Best we can. The best we can. So we recently, last month, did a video that outlined all of our current shelf of shame games. Now I do have to say, I feel like we knocked off we did. a decent amount in March. We did. But the list is still very large. So in total currently we have 160 games sitting on our shelf of shame. Mm -hmm. However, however, if we take away the expansions, then that's minus 21. Mm -hmm. And if we take away all the campaigns, mm -hmm. that's minus 10. Then we're looking at around 129 games that currently live on our shelf of shame. So four games a day and we can knock them all out. Yep. That sounds doable to me. What we really wanted to do this month, like I said, we've done Shelf of Shame September in the past and that went really well for us. I think we played like 20 or 30 games from the Shelf of Shame, if not more, I can't remember. But we wanna do that again. And I think every like so many months, we'll just do this to really like tackle the list. We would love for you to join us in this if you also have a large Shelf of Shame. Or opportunity or whatever you wanna call whatever it. Whatever you wanna call it. You do you. We just say shelf of shame. SOS is just so much, so oh. much easier. <laughs> exactly. So that's what we're doing. Now, we did put out a post to our Patreon community yeah. with a list of 30 options from the shelf of shame. There's some that we want to either prioritize or there's some that might not be super realistic for us to get to, like if we need more than two players or, you know, like I said before, the campaign games and stuff like that. I also didn't include any button shies on the list for them because I just have a whole other plan yep, gotcha. on that, okay? So they were given 30 options, and from those 30 options, they have selected us 10. 10 that we games must play. That we must play. Jeff has only just seen the list and is already in panic mode. I'm not in panic mode. I just... What mode are you in? That's some, there's some, there's some boys there. There's some big boys on yeah. yeah. But before we jump into what those 10 games are, we have a, a word from our sponsor, which is the World Series of Board Gaming. And that word is coming from them through us. We are just the you. vessel. We're the vessel for the message. The World Series of Board Gaming, for anybody that doesn't know, is a board gaming tournament competition that takes place in... Las Vegas. Vegas, baby. Vegas, baby. Or as Jeff says, Vegas. So if you are interested in going to the World Series of Board Gaming to showcase all of your sweet talents, you should definitely do that. Why? The grand prize winner gets to win $25,000 American. I don't know if you knew, but that's money that you could buy board games with. It's a lot of cheddar. It's a lot of cheddar, okay? You could spend it on board games or on other things. I don't know why you'd spend it on other then things. Then you could take the 25000 go to the casino, and count cards in blackjack like they do in 21. That's illegal. Turn that. No, it's not. Counting cards? It's not illegal. It's frowned upon. And then you can walk out with a cool meal. You can compete. There's 16 different games that you can compete in. But if you don't want to be competitive, guess what? You don't need to. You can go to the Open Gaming Library and Guess just play what? games with your friends. And maybe some of those games are on your shelf of opportunity. 100% some of those games are on your shelf of opportunity. And you can play them. Get them off. That sounds like a problem solved to me. If you need more information or if you would like to purchase tickets, we have links below for you. Feel free to give them a click. 
buy your tickets. We got two codes. Foster the Jamie, that's F-O-S-T-E-R-T-H-E-J-A-M-I-E, and the other one, so you can do either one of those. You need to resort to cheap tricks, and that's fine. That just shows your integrity. Okay, so the 10 games that our Patreon community have selected that we absolutely must play this month, we are going to start from the bottom till we're here. Okay, okay, I have two questions when we're done the 10. You have two questions. To you. First yeah. of all, how dare you? Is that your first question? No. Okay. The first game that we need to play in the month of April is going to be The Adventures of Robin Hood from Cosmos. That's fair. This is kind of like an advent calendar in a board game where you are playing as Robin Hood. And it's it's not really a campaign game. I think it's kind of like a scenario-based scenario, yeah. game. So we were comfortable enough to put it on this list. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to play that. It's been sitting on our shelf of shame since PAX Unplugged. Not this year. Not this past year. But the previous year, 2021. The next game that we have to play is Fog of Love, which I am so excited to play. Are this you so excited? If, if we like have a really good time playing it, I think we might end up streaming this I was going to say, there's probably a couple on here that I, I'm assuming I know the other one that you're going to want to stream. Exactly. So Fog of Love, you are playing as a couple. You take on their full personas and you go through, once again, a scenario. You play it out. You make decisions and stuff. I think it would fight. be funny to do that where I'm the female and you're the male. Yeah, we could do that. The Jamie next... would be the broiest of bros, I bet. Totally. Obviously. You'd be like, what's his name in Stardew? Alex. Alex. Oh my god, Alex is such a dweeb. Okay, the next game that we have to play is Mosaic. If you put that on the list, I'm not shocked that I got picked. Yes, however, somebody in our Patreon did say that this plays best at four. Fair enough. So we'll have to see how that goes. But anyways, this is like a big civilization type of game. Mm -hmm. And when I say big, I mean this box is larger than me. I think it's a big box, but... Um, Bigger heart? I don't think it's overly complicated to, Littler heart. to play. Got it. Next up, we have Too Many Bones. This is a game <laughs> that people that love this game love this game. I am not even a this little a bit surprised this that this got picked. Too Many Bones have, is a cult. We have an entire channel in our Discord that is dedicated to this game because the people demanded it. And all they do in there is send gifts of skeletons to each other. Yeah. Or maybe that's all I do in there. <laughs> yeah. And they'll complain that there's not enough too many bones in the Discord. Yeah. Even though they have their own dedicated they channel. They got their own channel. Like, again, cult. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll become part of it. The next game that ended up on the list is Bonanza, which is a classic Uwe game. Uh, that's fair. And we are planning on having a game day with friends in April. So mm -hmm. I think we'll probably play it then. Yeah, makes sense. Because I think it plays best with more people. Next up, we have another Uwe game, which is at the Gates of Loyang. Mm. Are you excited for that one? Yep. I know nothing about it. It'll be good. Better or worse than Agricola? You'll Trick like question. It Couldn't be worse. Next up is the one that I think I am probably the most excited for, and that is Decorum. I've had it for a while. We have had it for so long, and so we're probably going to play it, learn it, and then most likely stream it. Probably. Because I think yeah. this would be a really fun one for us to play on Twitch. Yeah. We saw uh, Nick and Mike Murphy play this, the Brothers Murph. Yep. You should go check them out on Please. Twitch, on YouTube if you're not already. I'm assuming you are. But watching them play, play it on stream really made me want to... Yeah, it's a game about passively, aggressively decorating your house together, mm -hmm. which is how Jeff and I have decorated our house. I don't really ever get a say. Next game is Bad Company, which is We exciting. just got this we one. We just That's... got Bad Company, but I put it on there because I thought maybe the people would want to see it. And guess what, Jeff? It's it like space number space, right? three. I have no idea. I don't know nothing sure. about it. I'm pretty sure it's like space space. The artwork is really cool. That's yeah. what I do now. Then, number two, we have Fall of the Mountain King. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. Yeah, we've had that one for a little while now as well. Not that long. And then, last but not least, the number one voted game was Galaxy Trucker. I don't even want to talk about Galaxy Trucker. It Why? It still annoys me. Why? Because I had set it up, I had learned it, I was ready to go, and Jamie's like, me, 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 me. Now I forget, and I have to relearn it. The Does whole it thing. Like me? It's so. exactly what happened. I don't think so. Those are the 10 games that we have to play. What were the things you needed to say? Of those 10, yes. what is your most, which one are you looking forward to the most? Decorum? I actually think the most, 
It's it's between Fog of Love, Decorum, and Too Many Bones. Okay, yeah, pick one. Fog of Love. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I just think it's it seems like such a different Least. game. Least. Least Mosaic. Damn it. I, I, saw, I thought you were going to pick Galaxy Trucker. Really? Yeah, mosaic? I think Galaxy Trucker is going to be fun. I think Mosaic because I'm, I think you're going to like Mosaic. I'm just worried that I'm going to have to learn it and it's going to be a lot. You are going to have to learn it. And it's going to sure. be a lot. It's not a lot though. It's, it's a big a setup, I think, but not a lot to teach. Okay. What I thought you? you were going to pick Gates of Lying. What do you, what Actually, about you? I thought you were going to Most pick excited, Gates. least excited. I think I'm most excited for, you know what? I'm actually might be most excited for Too Many Bones. I know. Mainly because I don't think we would have played it anytime soon if we didn't do it I agree. this way. And if the theme hits for me, I mean, hits. big time. Uh, least, honestly, there's not any on there that really I'm not excited for. Maybe Galaxy Trucker just because of the annoyance. So those are the 10 games we have to play. Now, knowing us, like last time we said we'd play 10 and we freaking crushed it and we played like 30. So we are going to just try and get through as many as we can, but we are going to try and prioritize those ones. Oh. Yes. The other things that I think I would like to try and do this month as part of the spring cleanup, I want to clean the entire studio. If anybody watched our behind the scenes vlog, you would have seen the mess that is our studio. There's just stuff, stuff and yes. things everywhere. So I want to clean up the studio and get it organized and more functional. That's a big, we also, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but we have to clean up the studio. We have to clean up the studio. We got big news, people. We have to clean up the studio, why? reasons we'll have news for you at some point in the future we don't know when big news coming but huge we also need to clean the game library brutal yes so who knows it's brutal in i there. might even do another one of like organize our games with me and everybody's gonna be like didn't you just do this yes yes it's a mess it's a mess again because we take games out and we just throw them back in there willy-nilly willy-nilly what normally happens is once you get one game just thrown in, not thrown in, but put in and put on the floor. You just sit things on top of it. Then it just becomes a cascading it creates problem. creates a new flat surface for us to and put I stuff And I do on. think we have to maybe uh, look at uh, donating some again. On that note, speaking of that, one thing that we had talked about, we haven't talked about it again since, is that we really wanted to prioritize as many of our Shelf of Shame games that we have this year. And if there are some that by the end of the year we still haven't played, they gone. we are seriously going to need to consider letting them go. Agreed. With the exception of Blackout Hong Kong, which I refuse to play and I refuse to get rid of. It's a bit now. It's just a bit now. So we just have to hang Someday on. Someday we'll play it. That would be the games that we have currently as it stands on our shelf of shame. Nothing that comes in after this because we got to give ourselves at least a year to play things. I think that's pretty fair. Yeah, because we have like content stuff that's still coming in and what have you. So. Exactly. Yeah. But that's the goal. We're going to plan and prioritize. Now, obviously, campaign games don't count within that and, and stuff like that. But Osworn has hit a wall. Oswan has hit a wall. Is still living inside of this table, Jason. Jason. It wants to get. I knew out this was going to gonna happen. I knew this was going to happen. We knew this was going to happen. Play a couple scenarios and then boom. Come on over. Wait in three oh, months. We got play. That's the plan. We have 160 games on our shelf of shame that we want to complete by the end of this year, minus the campaign games, which is 21. That's the plan. Those are the games. Let us know down below if you would like to join us in our journey of playing Shelf of Shame games in April. Shaperl. Shaperl. Shamey April. I got to yawn. You already did. That's all that we have for today. So now if you're interested in buying board games, although you should first start by playing the games you already have, mm. but who are we to stop you? If you want to buy games, you go for it. YOLO. YOLO. You first start by checking your friendly local gaming store, and for us, that is... The Boardroom Game Cafe. Yes, it is. If you like snacks... Munch Pack. Munch Pack. That's where you gotta go. You should watch our wrap-up. We just ate so many snacks. We did. All delicious. Some of them I didn't like, but Jeff liked everything. I'm picky. I'm not. <laughs> That's all that we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see... Please subscribe. We hope to see you again soon, and now we say goodbye. Goodbye! Here it is. We are, I have the hiccups.
I'm sorry. I think maybe we should. What would be a better place to knock off some games you've never played before? Not the World Series board game because you want to win. Yeah. But <laughs> my mouth is full of drool and I don't know why. Vegas. I gotta get that clip of you and put it in Vegas. That's how it's how Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Las Vegas. 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 Anyways. <laughs>